Hello everyone and welcome back to another Blender Quick Tip. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can change the size of your texture relative to the object it's on inside a Blender. As you can see here I purposely made this texture look horrible on this plane so I can show you how to fix it. If you don't know how to apply PBR textures like this brick one I'm using from CG Bootcase I'll have a beginner tutorial on how to do that in the description below so make sure to check that out if you don't know how to do that. Without further ado let's get straight into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is with my object selected with left click, I'm going to press tab and I'm going to enter edit mode. Since this is just a plane, I'll go into face light mode and just left click this or press A. And I'm going to start off by doing a basic unwrap just to fix this up. So I'll press U and then I'll left click unwrap. And already that's looking a lot better. Now for some of you, you might want to leave it there. But for those of you who are wanting how to get a more specific scale. I'm going to enter this UV editing. Then in this 3D viewport here, I'm going to move this into position and I'm going to enter my render preview inside of UV. And I just realized I've gone around the wrong side. So I'm just gonna rotate again into one of the right one. So as you can see, you can't edit in the UV editor unless you are in edit mode. So make sure you're in edit mode. Then in this menu, you need to make sure all these vertices here are selected. So I'm going to press A to select them all. And now you will notice if I press S to scale and I move this up, it will change like that. When I move it down, it will grow bigger like how it was at the start. You can press right click to forget any of those changes. Another thing I can do is I can move this by pressing G and now I can move this to a different position on the texture. Essentially how this works is it's repeating this texture over and over again. So when I move it here to roughly here, that's the same as this because it's just duplicating that texture over to here. Hopefully that makes sense. I can also lock it to an axis, so I can press G and an X, and that will lock it to the X axis here. And I can press G and Y to move it up and down. The reason it's Y and not Z is because this is a 2D viewport, and so it works with only the X and Y axis. I'm gonna press Control Z until I get to my original position. I'll press S, and I'll maybe move it to around here. You can look at the viewport to try and get it into position. And yeah, and I'll stick with that just now. And that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching everyone, I hope you all find this useful. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. Thank you again and I'll see you all in the next video.